Hi gang, here's how you can use just a microwave oven to collapse a plastic bottle, or a kettle to collapse a soda can. You may have seen this neat demonstration by Grant Thompson where he puts a bottle with a little water in a microwave oven. He then dumps the bottle in a container of water, resulting in this. Well, I thought I'd experiment with it further, give some pointers, and explain some of the science behind it. You'll need a container of lukewarm water, cold water didn't work for me, a microwave oven, some gloves for handling the hot bottle, and in my case, a plastic bottle. Fill the bottle with enough water that it doesn't spill out when you put the bottle sideways. Put it in the microwave oven, and set to run for about one and a half minutes. My oven defaults to its highest power level. When the time is up, remove it from the oven, dump the water, and plunge it into the container. As you can see, the bottle collapses, but you can reshape it and try again, up to a point anyway. Can you do it with a soda can? You wouldn't normally put a soda can in a microwave oven, but another place to get steam is a kettle. First I need to modify my kettle. For this I need some aluminum tape, since it handles high temperatures fairly well, and a tube of some sort that won't melt or be damaged by the water. I'm using a brass tube from a hobby shop. Tape it to the opening of the kettle like I'm going here. You know it's ready to use when a lot of steam is coming out of the tube. Then, simply put the soda can on the end of the tube, such that the end of the tube is at the far end of the can. The can gets hot as soon as you put it on the tube, so you'll need gloves even then. After about a minute, put the open end in a container of lukewarm water. Cool. So how does it all work? When you heat the water in the bottle, the water molecules start moving around more vigorously. They have more thermal energy. Some have so much energy that they break away and become a part of what's called a water vapor, or steam. Many of them end up leaving the bottle altogether. When you remove the bottle and plunge it in the water, the steam molecules near the cooler water interact with the water molecules, losing enough of their thermal energy to them, such that they no longer have enough energy to be free. The cohesion forces from the water molecules can now hold them back to become part of the water themselves. But when the conditions are just right, this can happen at a very rapid rate, resulting quickly in less steam molecules in this area. And that's when the liquid water from the container rushes up to fill that area. And if your bottle is flexible enough, then the bottle, backed by the air in the surrounding room, rushes in too. The bottle collapses. Well, thanks for watching. Check out my YouTube channel, Rimstar Org, for more videos like this. That includes one explaining how radiation works, using americium from a fire alarm as an example. Another on how fast an electron and electricity move down a wire. And a neat experiment you can do using electrostatics and soap bubbles. Also, be sure to check out all the neat videos on Grant Thompson's channel too. And don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos. Or give a thumbs up and leave a question or comment below. See you soon.